Hey guys, what's up? It is Kat here, and um, today's episode is going to be a little different. It's going to be like, I'm going to be working on the world for Attack of the B-Team, uh, but at the same time, I'm going to be talking. So it's not really something you guys have to watch, but I really would like if you guys would listen. I'm just going to go over like uh, certain things, things I want to talk about. Uh, things I would like to have discussions about, because nobody in my family, like, knows anything about YouTubers or YouTube in general or gaming. It sucks. So, I can't really discuss it with them. So, I figured I'd go to the internet. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, again, you guys, you don't have to actually watch, but i really like if you could, like, listen. Like, uh, you can open up another screen page or something like that. As you guys can tell, I look like poop, and that's because I've literally been doing nothing but sleeping because I have felt like shit. Straight up shit. Um, so one of the things, uh, I wanted to see if you guys agreed with this. There, I think there are, like, there's thousands of different YouTubers, but gaming YouTubers, I think there's, like, a main three, and then there's a bunch of mixtures and branches off of that one. Um... Oh, hey, by the way, guys, uh, I don't remember who, but, uh, someone, sorry, I should remember your name. I only got two comments. I should really remember your name, but I have a crappy memory. R suggested, uh, to use Optifine. It's not working. I tried, um, it kept crashing the game every time I tried to upload it. So it wasn't really working, but anyway, with the gamers, um, see, so yeah, I think there's mostly three kinds and then the kinds that branch off, like, um, like, I'd say the first kind is the kind that they, like, don't, they play to please. Not themselves, but other people. Like, their subscribers and stuff. They play to make those people happy, which I understand. There's, there's a bunch of different ways that one could be taken, I guess. Um, I'm sorry, I can't elaborate on it more. But, uh, there's also the fact of... Oh, wait, yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I forgot for a second. Um, oh, by the way, this is our tiki bar. I built it uh, during break. But um, anyway, what I was saying, so there's those kinds. Then I think there's also, like, the kinds who just play because they want to play. They record themselves, yes, but they just record what they want to record and play what they want to play. Now, there's a bunch of mixtures out there that kind of do a little bit of everything. And I guess I can say examples. Um, please don't, like, murder me down in the comments, though. Cause keep in mind, I do watch all these YouTubers. I love all their channels. Um, just kind of depends on how they use it, I guess. Um, like, one that I'm sure everybody knows is PewDiePie. He's kind of one that he kind of, like, more wants to please the people. Like, don't get me wrong, I, he, I know he enjoys playing his games. He enjoys it. But he also is a people pleaser. He really wants to make others happy. So, it's just kind of... It's weird. It's like, um, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, Like, but if you watch his old ones, you can tell he really got into the games. Uh, now he just kind of plays along with it. Um... I'm not saying it's a bad thing, though, guys. I think he's an amazing YouTuber, extremely funny. Um, so, yeah. But, um, then there is C Nanners. C Nanners is the kind of person who... Mm, what was I going to say? I totally forgot what I was going to say, guys. Okay, so... See, Nanners, uh, if you watch it, he doesn't really, like, he doesn't play for people. He records it, yes, but he plays the game just so he can play the game. He doesn't do it because a lot of people want him playing this specific type of game or because they want him playing this specific kind of way. He does it because he wants to play it, which is a lot of YouTubers out there. And keep in mind, I told you, like, there's a bunch of mixtures of these kind of people. 
and this Markiplier, which I'm sure a lot of people know, um, he, he, like, I love Markiplier, um, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember what I was going to say, like, I was, I had the whole speech thing planned out, and then it just kind of left my mind, I don't know why, I don't know where it went, but it went somewhere, so, pretty much, Sorry, I know I paused. I didn't mean to do that. But. Ah, fuck. I can't remember what I was gonna say. Ah. Uh... Okay, hold on. That's go off. That did not go off. There we go. So, the main point, like, um with it that a lot of people don't really seem to grasp is that there's a bunch of different YouTubers who all do it a different way and do you guys agree with that? Like, do you agree that there are tons of different kind of YouTubers and I don't even know where I was going with that one, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really out of it, too, at the same time. Like I said, I've been sleeping all day. Um... Another thing I want to talk about is why I started this channel. Um, no, I did not start this channel just for shits and giggles. Um, I did want to start the channel, though. But main reason I started this channel was because of the fact that... It's no secret. Uh, I dealt with self-harm, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's where you pretty much harm yourself for either, for multiple reasons, there's a bunch of different reasons. But um, anyway, so I dealt with that for five years, uh, along with, I also had, I not had, I also dealt with an eating disorder. So don't worry guys, I am, okay, I am almost into a year into recovery, which is amazingly badass, this is the longest time I've gone, so hey. But the main reason for this channel is just to show people who have self-harmed, or who are self-harming, or who are going through an eating disorder, or anything like that, that there is more to life after recovery. Like, I know I was horrified of recovery. I didn't want to do recovery, because I, it's all I knew. For five years, it's all I knew. I didn't know anything else. So, now here comes this idea of recovery, I can get better, I can get happier, and it honestly kind of scared me, but I took the extra steps, I went and I did recovery, and I've never been happier, it's been, it's actually been the happiest years of my life, happiest year of my life, I guess, because of the fact that I didn't get to actually, like, my sophomore and junior year, I pretty much spent that whole time hating myself and stuff like that, um, stuff along those lines. I'm not going to go into detail, but like why I hated myself and blah, 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 because I just, so I got into YouTube and it really helped with my recovery. Like a bunch of YouTubers that I watched, they made me happy. I was happy. It made me yeah, happy. I get, there's no other way of explaining it, though, so... Um... That's a horrifying sound. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm trying to remember... Eh, I'm sorry, I have a crappy memory. Again, that's another part of the thing that I was going to say. I have ADD, so... Which makes, you know, recovery a hundred times worse, because you have thoughts going all over the place. Um, trust me, if you have ADD and you're trying to recover from self harm or eating disorder, I understand. Like, hardcore. Ah, that scared the crap out of me. But, um...
sorry, I keep getting distracted. But, as I was saying, so, but I have friends who self-harm too. It's kind of like when you self-harm, you kind of gravitate towards the other people that self-harm too. It's kind of like one of those things where it's like, um, hey, you're like me, let's be friends. It's just one of those things. Um, so, pretty much, oh, what am I trying to say here? My channel is made to show people that recovery, honestly, is a good thing. Uh, and I feel like it may be different coming from me than other people because, well, not like other people, but like people who haven't really gone through self-harm all that much. Um, like I told you guys, I dealt with it for five years, so trust me, I more than know the feeling of hating yourself and not wanting to be here. And just in general, just wanting to die. So that's why I created my YouTube channel, guys. I want my YouTube channel to show people that there's more after recovery. Recovery is a good thing. You can come back from that. A lot of people think they can't come back from recovery like, at all. But you can. It's actually a, a lot easier once you accept the fact that you want to recover. But I'm sure you've heard this before, you can't recover on your own. Like, you can't have others force you into recovery. You willingly have to do it. Or else it's pretty much like you weren't doing anything. It, you'll just fall back into the same patterns. Which is not a good thing, but, um... Blah. Sorry, I had to crack my fingers. Uh, so there's that. Um, so this channel mainly just, let me get this over with. The channel was made to show people and to support people who self-harm. Like, you guys have seen it. You guys have seen the scars on my arms. Uh, you haven't seen any of the other ones I have. If you've seen those ones, um, I'm not going to show them right now. But if you go back into my old videos, I don't purposely show them. Like, I don't be like, hey guys, look, here's my arms. Here's what I've done to myself. No, I... After almost a year out of recovery and five years of dealing with it, I just kind of, it's kind of a normal thing with me now. I just don't really realize it. And when I'm out in public, sometimes I'll realize, like, oh, hey, my scars are showing, like, really bad. I maybe should not let that happen. Again, guys, though, you should not be ashamed of scars. You shouldn't have scars I always get so sad whenever I see someone who has scars on their wrist, because I know what it's like to go through that. And it's a bitch. And it sucks. And I know. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah. So I guess that was mostly it. So, I think I got the point across, hopefully, of what this channel is for, uh, why it's here. Um... So, my channel, I guess you can consider it, like, a sport, support channel, if you want. Um. I guess. Uh. I just want you guys to know that I love you. All of you. Even if you hate me. Even if you think I'm this big bitch for some reason, I don't know. Even if you hate my guts, I still love you and would support you guys. I don't want to see anybody going through this stuff. It's, it's poopy. It's just poopy. There's no other way of explaining it, I guess. But, um, so yeah, with that, well, I literally got nothing done in this video. I just talked. And even half of the video is just ums. It's 10 o'clock at night, I've been sleeping all day. And I have an energy drink. I actually have another one back there, too. Yeah. Hi, Sadie. You want to say hi to my subscribers? Come here. Come here, Sadie. Come here. Oh, you're weird. Bah! You're a heavy dog. Boop. Say hi, Sadie. 
<laughs> no. Okay, here. And then, I don't know if you can see Max, but Max is back there. And you guys know of my stuff. So I guess that's it. So, what? I, that doesn't mean I wanted to play. I just wanted to show you off because you're adorable. You're rotten, but you're adorable. But, um, so yeah, I guess I'll, get, I'll end it with that. I'll work on some more stuff around the, how, around the, um, place. And, um, don't cry at Gizzy. Gizzy doesn't want to play with you. Um, <laughs> so I guess with that, guys, I will see you later. Sorry, I know this is kind of a sad video. I will try to post another one today. That would be more, like, upbeat and happy. But I'll probably do, like, Crazy Craft or something. Because I've done a bunch of Hack of the Bee teams. Which, by the way, I figured out we are on number 12. I think. I don't remember if it was 12 or 6. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, yeah, with that, guys, uh, I will see you guys later. And I hope you have a good day, night, evening, when I win ever you guys are watching this. That was a weird headbang. I look like poop, so I'm just gonna get out of here. Peace, guys.